So let's draw some roofs. In order to draw a roof, the first thing to do is, of course, I will have to draw the house itself. Only I'm not going to draw the upper face of it. I'm going to reserve that part in order to draw what it's going to be different types of roofs. So the first one I, I want to do is the typical one, which is the double slope roof. In Spanish, es un tejado a dos aguas, and it would be something like this. It is the it has the shape of a tent, so to say. Only I want to place it immediately here on that. So what do I do? As you can see, usually uh, on this kind of, of of roofs, we have only one edge here, which is clearly above the rest of the base where it's uh, where it's placed, and usually this vertical line here, which is not an edge, it's just a, a line, is usually starting here from the midpoint of that edge. That means I'm going to find out that midpoint, which is basically here, and from here on I'm going vertically to the height that I want to give uh, this, uh, this roof. From this point on I will just only have to, to join those, like this, and like that. And from here on, I will have to draw another edge, which needs to be exactly the same width as the rest, which in that case is four squares, more or less. And also, I could draw directly a parallel to this direction, and joining it directly like that, depending on how wide my roof is going to be, you are going to see this corner or not, depends on. Sometimes you are going to see it, sometimes you don't, according to the width of that. So, that would be one way to do it. What if I want to draw the same roof only with a different orientation? So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. Let's draw another house here, but Instead of doing it like this, I'm going to do it like that. That means I'm going to start here from the midpoint of the edge, and as you can see, I go up yeah. to the height I wish, and from here on, I will just only have to join those. From here on, I will have to count as many squares as I wish. I think those are six of them. So, two, four, six. This edge needs to be the same distance as that. And finally, we'll just have to join those. In case you want to add some windows, you probably already know that. You probably have seen the video tutorial of windows and doors. But you will have to always have a look at the orientation of them in order to draw the inside of the windows, like that. And of course, the door is going to be start opening like this. And so on and so forth.